Hey there, everybody. Um, sitting here, went over the videos, and the last section didn't turn out right. So we're going to reshoot it. Um, you know, my wife was re watching these videos. She's like, you say I'm a lot. And, you know, frick, she's right. Sound like Trudeau. Ah, anyway, we'll <laughs> work and see if we can't make that better. Uh, so... Um, there it is again. Let's, uh, take a look at, uh, my last section of PPE, which would be my fall arrest equipment. All right, everyone, this is the fall arrest equipment I keep with me in my truck when I'm out on a job site. Uh, so right here I have a welding or a Kevlar harness. It fall arrest harness, uh, Miller Revolution, not to be confused with the Miller uh, welding brand. This, so like I said, this thing is Kevlar. It stands up to the the sparks and the spatter when you're welding overhead. You always normally, at least in my experience, when you're working for a company quite often like legally they're required to supply you with fall rest equipment the problem is that quite often it's cheap uh, you know it's all made with nylon uh, it's you know there's no comfort padding to it and if you're in it all day you know you're welding overhead you're 40 feet up in a scissor lift, you know, those, those harnesses, they get beat up, uh, they get burnt up. And the problem is they don't get replaced the way they should. This Kevlar harness has, I've had it for four years and it still functions almost as good as the day I bought it. Actually, there's no mechanical issues with it. It's just a little dirty. I really like the quick attach. And it is literally that easy to put this thing in and on. I, you know, you set it to your body and that's the end of it. I, the other thing I would recommend if you buy your own, and I would strongly recommend buying yourself a good harness, uh, don't share it. I've shared my harness a few times and uh, they've mucked with, you know, they mucked with these, they've pulled them through here. I don't even know how they pulled them through here. It was a pain in the butt to get that fixed. Uh, don't share. It rarely will leave you happy. Um, so attached to my harness, I have a six foot yo-yo. And in situations where it requires uh, constant uh, tie-off or full tie-off at all times, um, I have a double uh, a double-ended lanyard. And for instances where I need a lot of movement, I actually have a 30-foot yo-yo. Um, and sometimes I'll use my little dog leash here to ex expand my uh, my reach it uh, so yeah fall arrest is something we all need to take seriously uh, as a welder as a fabricator at some point I can guarantee you you will end up in a scissor lift uh, or a genie boom and you're going to be 40, 50, 60 feet up in the air welding one bracket to one column. And uh, having good equipment makes your day go better. Uh, having your own equipment makes your day go better. Uh, and you're not depending on somebody else for your own safety. Um, take these things seriously. And um, so that's my PPE stuff. Last thing I wanted to talk about is my uh, 
uh, toolbox here. This toolbox travels around in my truck. I put it in the back seat and uh, and yeah, I, it goes with me everywhere. It's important to be prepared for whatever you are going to run into on the job. Uh, you never know, never necessarily know what the conditions are, even though you've prepared for it, you've found out what the job could be, and it's, uh, it's always good to be prepared. And so I'm going to leave you with that, um, and I'm going to work on that um problem, and we'll talk to you guys later, make some more videos, and just kind of keep posting. All right, take care, guys. Bye. One last thing, if you like what we're doing, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, we're working hard trying to come up with ideas, got some, got some stuff more on the business end, which is, you know, as welder fabricators, we spend a lot of time learning how to be good at welding. There's a whole nother skill set out there with project management, uh, material procurement, sales, uh, accounting, and the list goes on and on. And so I really, and there, YouTube really doesn't have a lot of content towards that end of it, uh, making that transition from employee to self-employed to uh, employer um, and going on that way. So I'm going to keep focusing on making tool videos and technique videos, but I also really want to focus on the other aspects of it. So please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, and we're just going to keep making videos. All right. Thanks a lot. Talk to you guys later.